Hello creative ones, this is Robin Dudley Howes, the artsy bohemian, coming to you from my very warm studio in Los Angeles. <laughs> um, I am going to pick up where we left off with the uh, faux front envelope. The um, inspiration is from Gail Augustinelli, and this is the one I had made. I never really finished it, but I just wanted to refresh your memory. And um, it's, it's an envelope that has all these flips and pockets and it's just it's just a fun project to make. If you made it smaller I would assume you could put it in a junk journal. I'm going to try to do that. Um, so I'll be looking at this back and forth and this is what we had started in the last tutorial and it's with this wild uh, paper from a paper pack. So we had covered the envelope front this is the back. I haven't done anything to the back yet, but I did pick out some papers that I thought would be fun and maybe some lace to put on it. And um, before we start, though, I wanted to just give you a, a quick sneak, sneak peek of my design team project for the Graphics Fairy. I'm going to leave a link below because tomorrow they will be showcasing it on their website. And um, I'm just going to just show you really quickly what it looks like. I can't show you too much. I want to uh, keep it as kind of a surprise, but I'm keeping it in a plastic bag because I don't want to get it dirty because it's all white and I'm not really good with white stuff. I make things dirty quickly. Um, but this is it and you'll be able to see the full um, flip, flip, flip through. <laughs> I have such a hard time saying flip through tomorrow on the Graphics Fairy website. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I picked out some colors that and patterns that are um, match this, but don't take away. I think I like this polka dot. I could have just kept picking papers out, but it's getting late and I need to get this um, this done. Sometimes you just got to do things, right? I just I think I overthink things too much, and I always feel like I have to have a project to show you before I, I actually make it but it's a lot easier for me to just kind of go with it. So this is just kind of a good way for you to see how um, I work. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make a tab out of this. This is a stamping up um, punch that I've had forever. I've had it probably for 15 years. So I don't even know if they have it anymore, but I like the contrast. So I'm gonna put a tab here so that it, it acts as a closure like this one does here. This one has a flower on it, but it's the same um, stamp, uh, I mean a punch that I used. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And actually I think I'm gonna leave it for right now because I'm gonna make a pocket here. And I thought she would look cute in there, maybe. And let's see. I just love um, using uh, the design, the uh, graphic fairy images. I, I was blown away at how many amazing digital downloads they have. And, and, and it's not just images, they have tutorials. They have, um, if you want to learn how to do Photoshop, you can learn how to do Photoshop. <clears throat> they have envelope templates. They have all kinds of fun stuff. I highly encourage you to check it out and then if you want to maybe even get the membership I think it's only like 10 bucks a month and you get um, weekly uh, bundles and there's a ton of them on there right now I think there's over 96 bundles so you get access to them right away okay so Had my cutter here. I might just have to. I think I'm gonna go grab it really quickly. My poor little cutter is really old, and I need to probably get a new one soon. So I think I. See, I'll flip it over to see where I want to cut it. 
um, I don't know, maybe like right about there. I hope your Labor Day was good. Mine was very quiet. Um, just hung out with my family. It's starting to get hot here. I live closer to the beach, so we're we've been pretty lucky this summer. Thank goodness. I, I'm not a hot weather person. <clears throat> Which is funny because I was born and raised in Southern California, but it's just it's just getting it's just getting hotter and hotter every year that goes by now. Okay, let's see if that fits. I might, <clears throat> not sure if I'm going to do, well, I might, I might do the full pocket here. These are the other papers that look pretty, too. I really like, I like mixing up patterns with, you know, like stripes or polka dots or other, you know, different um, geometric designs with something like this because it kind of breaks things up. I think that'll be good. I'm going to um, glue it down here. I didn't do that on this one. I'll leave a link for the paper below. I got it recently at Hobby Lobby, uh, this, this paper pad. I did one separate pocket here and then another separate one over here, but I think I'm gonna just run it straight across and then I could even add another little one down here. There's just so many variations that you can do and this opens as a pocket here. And so that'll bend right there, I think. Is that what I right there. You could always sew it, which would be nice. I think I'm just going to use regular old tacky glue. I'm just going to do it on three sides. So that's like that. And then I'll be able to slip things in there. At some point I might like sew it down the center there, but we'll see. I like that, that's cute. And I thought it'd be fun to put some lace on there. This is um, some lace in the t in the days when I was trying to organize things and this is what happens. It doesn't stay organized very long. And I'll put uh, some glue here. This is just gonna be a quickie. I um, I was one of the first design team members to have uh, have my project due, and um, <laughs> I didn't have much time, so I literally made that journal, and there's about 50 pages front and back in three days. And those of you who have made junk journals, and this is not just a regular junk journal, it has all the, the pockets and the flips and the tucks and collage and envelopes and so um, I didn't just like make a pretty cover with some blank pages it's full-on junk journal um, but you know if you put your mind to something you can do it I just I kind of I think I overdo it sometimes I over I fill my plate too much which is I'm sure most people do that too I'm like sure I can do it I'll do that I'll do this I'll do all this stuff and and then I'm like, oh my god, that's due in three days. Let me know in the comments if you say yes to lots of stuff and kind of get in trouble sometimes. 
that's cute right there. So this would be a cute little pocket. This is also a um, Graphics Fairy. They have faux postage. Isn't that too stinking cute? So I um, cut them out with a perforated uh, blade that I have on my cutter. That one I didn't cut very well. So maybe I'll make a pocket with that here. So much better just doing stuff and not overthinking it. That's kind of what this, how this is kind of coming out here. I like that. That's cute. So I'm gonna glue that down. I I I put this on the back just to reinforce it because it's just a piece of um, paper. This I'm not gonna actually make this part into a pocket. It's just gonna be uh, glued down onto this so that it reinforces it. It's just the um, leftover that I had from the tab. I'm just gonna keep pushing this down. So see, that's not, I mean, it really doesn't take that long to do it. I think the hardest part is figuring out what kind of papers you want to use that takes the longest time for so many projects it's like the design is the hardest part but um don't overthink it like you know just kind of pick out some things that you've you've been liking late recently whether you've been looking on pinterest or youtube and if there's some somebody's work that you really like just kind of follow along with that and um don't overthink it too much for me, I've been really into lace, and so I thought I'm just going to bring some lace over to the table and some of these cute images and just go for it. And I'm liking the way it's coming out. I really love this color combination. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and glue this down. I'll probably put something down on this, too. And then I'll make a, a flip out on the top. I just finished up uh, making this class uh, in my online school, if anybody's interested. It's actually going to be open to the public on the 15th of September. Right now it's open to the people who had signed up for my other class. It was like a freebie class. That's a, it was a bonus. It's a crocheted, beaded crochet necklaces. So I think this has to go over like this a little bit more to tuck under. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have to push that down here in that crease. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm just kind of playing around with it. And I'll make a flip here like I did on this one. You could add anything if you wanted to. Uh, even this cute little girl here, that would be, that would be a cute flip, but I don't think I'm going to do it for this one. Or an envelope, I mean a bag that we have here. So I think I'll take some more of this paper. That's pretty. Maybe I'll do that right there. It says fly. And it'll cut it off just a little bit, but that's okay. So... I should just have to um, <clears throat> make sure when you cut it, it's going to maybe like about a sixteenth of an inch on either side. You don't want it to get caught in the, the creases there. So... I think I'll do it. I'll cut it right about there. And then, how far did I go down? Maybe I'll go down about here. 
so pretty. The uh, journal that I just finished is in these colors too. I um, had somebody who wanted me to make a journal and I normally don't do that. I don't have a lot of time with my school but um, I really had fun making it and because I'm part of the design team project, uh, one of the design team members, I kind of was thinking well maybe I can kill two birds with one stone making the journal for this person and then um, you know keeping the color combinations that she liked which mainly was peach and cream which I love too. Like this one's going to have a bird theme as well. Perfect. So that'll go there and I'll just glue that down. Probably stick another piece of paper there or maybe some lace. I think I'll just put some lace so that it won't bend the paper. And I'll use the same pretty lace that I had here. Let's see. Right there. Have my good scissors finally here. Oh, kind of good. of blue on either side. I probably would like to make the corners nice. I don't have my corner. Um, I think I'll go grab it. I am totally into Halloween and I really want to make a Halloween journal or some kind of Halloween altered file folders like I did last year. So I've been looking since July um, at the hobby stores and I'm so bummed out because at least where I live they just don't have anything. It's such a bummer. Usually by Labor Day at least they have some. I mean there's a few things but um, honestly I've been kind of going almost since like I said since July and they have the same thing it's just like one face out um, at uh, Michael's and there's hardly anything and then uh, Hobby Lobby never has any paper stuff for Halloween it's all Christmas stuff so I'm just kind of reverting to online. Not that I need anything, mind you. I have tons of Halloween stuff for paper crafting, but I always like to see what's new. I, I like to use new stuff too. I love making um, things with vintage. So so I'm sticking that down. Makes it cute lap has some glitter on it this is uh, the two um, paper packs this one's by the paper studio I think this is from Hobby Lobby which by the way I, th I think is like really cut down on their paper crafting area and um, then this is the other one and <clears throat> pretty sure I got this at Tuesday morning um, lost and found market pay place really beautiful mints and peaches uh, really lovely um, paper pack and it was 
only $6.99 and there's quite a few pages. It was $20 originally, so really nice and subtle, great for uh, layering and collages. I love this. This is so fun. I'm so happy that I can do this and play because otherwise I just get so stuck doing stuff that um, sometimes is boring, right? Um, so <laughs> glad I am doing this because it really is, it's kind of like therapy. Um, so there we go. Um, pretty easy. You keep adding to it and um, I might just do that but um, I highly encourage you to you know do this I think maybe I will add something on the back here but I will save that for another video so just an envelope take an envelope and just cover it and then start adding flips and pockets and go for it it's gonna be fun um, I will have a link below like I said for the graphics fairy um, and there will be a video tomorrow on their website of with a, a link for to the video that I did for them but it's going to be on their YouTube channel and there's going to be uh, pictures uh, up, up close pictures so um, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and all your wonderful comments I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys so thanks a lot